what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel i am jay this is jay's life out loud a channel about nothing but it's about something i am uh down at uh bell isle as you can see the beautiful water behind me down here chilling uh, so what's going on today is i uh, had a co-worker of mine aaron thomas uh assistant pastor Aaron Thomas we were talking at work and he was saying wouldn't it be nice to have a place to go and have like a men's talk where me and I you know can feel safe to open up and uh, talk about just about anything and uh, this is what I'm doing today so I invited uh, open invitation for people to come down and join me and just chill by the water, fellas, to come down and just talk. Just a guy thing, you know. Uh, black men are being murdered at high rates. Uh, suicides. Just had a, a classmate. He wasn't black, but uh, rest in peace, Chad. Uh, and a lot of men are struggling out here and they don't know who they can go to. A lot of them don't believe in going to counseling and that type of stuff. So if they can be around the fellas and uh, just talk and get it out. Cause a lot of us, some of y'all got friends, some of us don't. You know, we don't have those people that we can lean on and talk to on a daily or pick up the phone or just drive by there or, you know, go have a beer with. So for those fellas that need somebody to talk to uh this is what it's for so uh other than that i'm here if don't nobody show up i still would have came down i, I mean y'all y'all know me i did videos by the water this is my favorite spot to be they're having a race down here or and i don't know if it's like i don't know if we want to say a race a marathon it's a lot of people down here jogging it is uh, 9.14 here in uh, Detroit, Michigan. And I'm down here chilling. Very peaceful. usually get people just driving down here they just want to get by the water for a minute and then go on with their day you know they may have a lot going on so they'll you know just drive through get a sight of the water and then keep it moving so I saw a hack on uh I don't know where I saw that. It was on one of these social media sites where you take some uh, instant coffee, put a little lighter fluid on it, and light it. It's supposed to keep the uh, mosquitoes away. So I got a little uh, beer bottle out of that garbage can right there. It's smoking pretty good. Hopefully it keep the bugs away. Um, I know ain't no mosquitoes out here right now, but... Life is all right. I'm not where I'm where I want to be, but I ain't where I used to be. I'm not who I want to be, but I'm not who I used to be. And and, and I hope that makes sense to y'all. As my wife said, if that makes sense. So, I believe all men need to take time. I gotta keep watching, cause it's a, I don't know if it's a, a beaver or whatever that thing is over there. But uh, I believe all men need to take time 
to uh, to themselves, some me time, just like anybody else needed, a woman, a child, or whatever it may be, to uh, relax, unwind, get away from the stresses of life, <clears throat> do something he enjoys without uh, having to watch for kids or checking if his significant other is feeling some type of way about uh, whatever. But to be able to just go and get some time by yourself is very important. Now, if you're single, you're a single guy, man, you got all the time in the world. But if you uh married, uh, you've been in a long, you're in a long-term relationship, it can be, um, it can be a lot, you know, depending on who you are and what you, how you, how you uh, carry yourself or what's going on. A lot of us fellas uh, out here can, uh, May you may be strapped for cash. Your car may be down. Um, your marriage may be going through some rocky times or not even rocky times. Uh, she may ask you, you know, what's wrong? You okay? And you steady saying, yeah, I'm fine. Knowing that you dying on the inside, knowing that you need a break, and knowing that you love her, but yet and still you need some time to yourself. Uh, you don't feel like cutting the grass. You don't feel like going to work. You don't feel like uh, daddy duties right now. You just, you know, you don't feel like barbecuing for the family. You just want to go somewhere where ain't nobody asking nothing of you and do what you want to do. I've heard uh, many fathers say that even on Father's Day, even on Father's Day, that they end up doing what their significant other wants to do. And a lot of times that, uh, that, that woman, she doesn't mean any harm. She wants to celebrate you on Father's Day. So she'll plan a dinner, a big dinner for the family. She'll plan an event. Uh, she may do whatever to celebrate. And a lot of men, what we want is, we just want to, and it, we don't mean no harm, but to, we want to be left alone. Sometimes we just want to chill. If we got a, a man cave, or if we got a little spot that we go to, that's where we want to be at, be left alone. Or sometimes just, just cater to, you know? Hun, you need anything? Oh no, babe, I'm good, you know? Give them two, three hours, go in there, babe, you need anything? Let me know. But sometimes, uh, I remember in my first marriage, uh, my wife's best friend was having a Father's Day uh, barbecue. And at the time, I, you know, I would, I still, still drunk beer and uh, I would uh, smoke my black and miles back then. And all I wanted to do for Father's Day was not to be bothered. I wanted to sit on my front porch with my beer, a six pack rather, of Budweiser and my Black and Miles and just relax. You know, you working Monday through Friday, sometimes Monday through Saturday, sometimes you know, uh, Monday through Sunday, you know, you get your weekends, you want to sit down, relax, and be left alone. But a lot of times in a relationship, <laughs> you can't do that. The kids don't mean no harm if they're running up on you. Uh, daddy, daddy. Wife may not mean no harm. What you watching? What you doing? You know, my mama said, I heard your mama called me. Uh, the kids, da da da. Uh, you know, that side of the grass where that, you know, my car is, uh, the kitchen is, uh, and they don't mean no harm. But they don't understand that 
you know, uh, as a black man that, you know, you may be dealing with a lot socially in this world, uh, supervisors, coworkers, um, just driving back and forth from home, dealing with the police, looking at you a certain way or following you for no reason. And, uh, you know, you watching so many of these black men being uh, slaughtered in these streets. You watching the ignorant stuff that we see go on in big cities like Detroit, Atlanta, Chicago. And it hits different. So a lot of times you just want to go somewhere. When I was uh, finding this spot, I rolled past a guy sitting by the water. No, it's like his truck's still down there. And I guarantee that wasn't no cigar he was smoking. You understand? But I guarantee he getting his me time. But some men don't know how to get they, they time. Because they don't want to offend their wife. They don't want to start no arguments. They don't know how this how how that, that woman is going to react to them saying, I need I need some space. I need to go, you know, clear my mind. I need to go sit down. And uh, then you have some that are disbelievers. They don't believe that this will help them because they feel like shoot, I go do what I'ma do. I'm still coming home to the same mess. But the thing about it is if you get out and you get you some me time, you'll come back recharged. You'll be able to uh, come back with a smile. You'll be able to come back feeling a lot better. It gives you, as they say, uh, absence makes the heart grow fun. So you go out, you chill. You go out, you go fishing. You may go watch a movie. Go see a movie at the show by yourself. There's a lot of times there's movies that women don't want to see. And us fellas with me, you know, maybe a cowboy movie. My wife just went to me with me to see a cowboy movie. That cowboy movie was three hours long. And when I tell you, I'd have regretted even going to see it. But uh, you got to get that time in take that time for you fellas get that fellas time man you may want to go by your homeboy house just sit up and kick the shit with him you know uh you might like the bowl you might want to get down there to the gun range you know pop a couple off but whatever it is Find that time, fellas, to go get your mind right. Be able to breathe, excuse me, and re refocus, reset, recharge. Because a lot of us are walking around with a lot of anger. And you don't know it until the littlest thing triggers you. And then you're thinking to yourself, how did I get here? How did I get, oh, now I'm in the police station. How did I get here? Now, now I done did something that I can't take back. How did I get here? Now I've said something that I can't take back. How did I get here? And a lot of times is that you didn't take the time to invest in you. And there's nothing wrong with investing in you. It's not selfish to say, I need a break. It's not selfish to say, ah, you know what? I'm gonna go to the show by myself. Uh, get me a big bucket of popcorn and something to drink. Sometimes, fellas, we have to do it, and you may need to do it by yourself without letting her know. You may, you, you know, we were talking about this one day at work. You may have to get up in the morning like you're going to work, even though you know you're going to put in a vacation day and spend the whole day by yourself. 
you know. You might want to even, you know, uh, I've had co-workers that left the house, went and sat at the gas station, waited till the wife and the kids was gone or the girlfriend and the kids was gone and went back, doubled back to the house and just got back in the bed. That's all they wanted to do was to rest. We all know that if you got if you have children, we all know that it's very hard to have a peaceful household. And when I say peace, I'm saying where the house is quiet, where you can watch a movie without somebody screaming over the top of the movie. You can watch a movie or sit there and watch a movie without somebody going back and forth, back and forth, door slamming, people talking extra loud and they right next to, to each other. You gotta find that me time, that time to take care of yourself. I'm going on 16 minutes, over 16 minutes. So uh, I pray today uh, to all my fellas that y'all have a, a blessed day. Um, take this weekend to find you some time to yourself. I don't care if it's an hour or two hours. Uh, take that time to find you know, a peace of mind. But uh, with that said, love you fellas. Peace, 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 and peace. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button that'll let you know when I got new videos coming uh, or are up. And uh, hit the like button. Please, please leave a comment. If you watch my videos all the time, it really helps me to know that somebody is watching. Not only just seeing how many people viewed it, but if somebody hits the like button and even more by leaving a positive comment. If I left a, po a positive uh, impression on your heart today or a positive message, I'm just asking for uh, just a uh, right back at you, bro. Thumbs up, something like that. Peace, y'all.